Hello everybody and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Odyssey, where we're getting closer and closer to figuring out the mystery of my dad. But I'm not really sure how to go about doing that. Also, it's really late and it's May the 4th and I'm pretty sure there's a bunch of fireworks going off outside in honor of May the 4th because my coworker told me that they were at the local bar was going to have a party. Hey, there is a dock over there. They were like celebrating it and I was like, really? I was not expecting that kind of out here in the middle of nowhere. It's like, can I move this one? I'm just kind of messing around, I don't know. Obviously. And I can move this one. There might, oh, there's one in that corner. Okay. Yeah, nope. Down. Okay. Whoa, 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 snake, it's a snake, it's a snake. Oh my god, there's a bunch of snakes. There's a bunch of snakes. <laughs> I can't see anything. <sighs> All the snakes did. Oh my gosh, I should have known better than to just jump down to an abandoned building. <laughs> that was scary. Drop the torch. Also, I didn't kill anything with my daggers there, but I got credit because I was holding the daggers, even though I threw a torch at them. Is there something sneaky hidden in here? Uh-huh. Oh my gosh. How extensive is this gonna be? Um, whoa, 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 whoa. Unnecessary. They're so freaking hard to see. Okay. Too bad I can't climb up that. I'm gonna have to have a throw down with these guys out here, I think. Snakes. Nope, nothing. They're lynxes, though. I feel so bad. Oh god. <laughs> I'm a monster. <laughs> oh, I don't have any more. There we go. Oh my gosh, really? How do you not see? Sorry, you guys are really beautiful, but I know the game only put you here because you're gonna be in my way. Is that a, that's a shark? I think. Oh no, no, it isn't. There's a bunch of lynxes all over. The Why are they here on a volcanic? How do a bunch of lynx get on an abandoned a volcanic island? What are they doing? Can I do any more ship upgrades? I can do these. Okay. Oh, I think I had enough. Oh, not quite enough. And I don't have enough tablets. Jeez. And it's so expensive. Yikes! Oh, oh, wow. 11 tablets. Holy, holy freaking cow. You know what? Yeah. Why not? Just do it. What was I doing? 
Oh, I did it already. I got my arrows that I needed. Okay, somehow. These beams. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, I know where we're at. I, I don't know why. Dad insisted on putting up a dang nab wooden board in front of it somehow after he opened the door, but who am I to question my my father? Nice. Okay, calm down. Calm down. Okay, so this I'm not gonna have to like rearrange every single one. This is good. This pleases me. I don't want to if I don't have to. Okay. Oh crap. I freaking hate snakes. Well, I like snakes okay in real life. I'm just not the biggest fan, you know. Oh, is this gonna go? Oh my gosh. Cassandra. There was a rope right there. Okay, though. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I'm not sure how to get this. Okay, maybe. Okay, okay. We move it in the light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we move this one. And then we move this one. Oh, maybe not. Maybe. This looks to be in the right uh, position. Okay, okay. I'm doing it. I'm very smart. I'm the smartest assassin. I'm waiting for my laundry to dry, which is always a risk at a hotel. You gotta hope nobody steals your laundry for some reason. Um, no. Okay. Won't budge. There. Uh -huh. That should work. Now to try the door. Oh wow. Oh jeez. Okay, that was easy. I think I was messing around, my messing around with stuff a little earlier. Did a good job. On accident. Oh my gosh! Finally. Now find what lies within. Why didn't that work the first time? Why couldn't I just stick my spear up there? Why'd I have to use light bulbs? I hope it's an automatic door. Also, I'm pretty sure that this TV doesn't do 60 frames per second, which I find odd. But it's a hotel TV. Lots of people try jumping. I'm just surprised I have 10 a. Oh, nice. Bats. Nice ambiance. Okay. Why would my father be here? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe because he's a god, actually. I, I legit, at this point, I don't think he is. Like, I don't know why a god would be running around doing research. So. Hopefully, we find him. And he's not in, like, major trouble. It's hot in here. Are we going. Well, yeah, this is like where. Yeah, this is where volcanoes are chilling out. Get it, chill. Except they're not actually chilling out. They're really hot. <gasps> okay. I should watch my step. Yeah, you should. Alright, looks like Dad's been through, maybe. Or somebody else. Are those, like, ropes or snakes? Rope. It sounds like the, like, lava's, like, whispering to me. I don't know if I appreciate that. Can I... 
Oh, okay, I can do that. Okay. Not that I'm... I actually don't know where that's gotten me, really, but, you know. Let's try this. <gasps> oh my god! No! It's caught! Yeah, yeah. Ah! It's very hard! Very hard, very hard. Very... No, I tried to... Oh, I just chucked myself. <gasps> no! <gasps> I... Okay, okay, okay. So, apparently... Apparently... That rock I was standing on was hot. <laughs> <laughs> that lava rock, who, who'd guessed? Who'd guessed, you know? I don't know. I'm not a geologist. I'm <laughs> just kidding. Uh, I did take a lot of training in geology, but I was hoping the video game would, uh, you know, be kind. But, nope. Uh, okay. We got it in. Okay. Let's go. I don't really care about the loot at this point. Okay, so the plan is though. Hang on. Okay. I have the correct one selected. Why would my father be here? Who knows? For science. Or to combat the cult. Or to combat a demon. Or to do science things, because he sounded like a researcher. It's hot in here. Okay. I should watch my step. Okay. So we go all the way around, la la la. Okay. And we jump on the rope. Whoever put this path up first was pretty brave. Or stupid. <gasps> I didn't mean to keep swinging, but okay, that works. Okay. I did it. Oh, oh, I didn't mean to do that. I'm getting origins flashbacks. Okay, so apparently these little narrow areas that require you to like kind of crawl through slowly, like sidle through, apparently they're called load-bearing walls get it because they hide loading screens behind them they're essentially like they're essentially like loading in the next area while you do this but it's like a more seamless way to do it so it hides the loading screen sort of i thought that was pretty clever okay now i'm scared i'm scared okay uh, i'm scared Please keep climbing! Please keep climbing! Okay. No! What the frick? Gosh. Why did she just hop in? Why? And she was fine for the first half a second, apparently. That's right, we did that last time where she's like apparently immune to lava for like 0.5 seconds. What is this piece? Oh. Shoot, is stuff floating like back there? Get rid of the lost city. Be still my heart. Jeez. Do you know how cool it would be if we could actually find stuff like this? Time to take a dive. In real life, I'd be so excited. This is what archaeology actually was. It's like a weird stone, maybe? Like a mineral? This is very like, why is everything that's like super fancy from, you know, future-y or past, oh, it's like doing that on its own every now and then. There's like a power source. It's like fluctuating. Why is always gotta be big and blocky? The Protheans did it. This Every place is huge. Everything's gotta be like big and blocky. Like, what about curvy, curvy architecture, huh? Why can't the past people who were very advanced have curvy, not just big blocks? I wasn't really looking. I was kind of looking at those guys. We're walking very confidently. Good, good. Oh, shoot. Hello? <gasps> He's a god. Is he trapped in there? Oh my gosh, is he a god? Is he really? Why is he here? What the heck? 
Why did he sound like a researcher? Icaros. Icaros doesn't usually come in here. <gasps> Don't. Oh my. Traitor. Oh my God. Greetings, Cassandra. Ah! Welcome to Atlantis. Are you serious? Oh my yeah. gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my I thought it was just a myth. Oh my there gosh. are many secrets in this world that are hidden behind myth and legend. It's an actual and Atlantis. Who are you? Back there. My name is Pythagoras. <laughs> I'm your of father. course he's Pythagoras. Pythagoras? Yeah. That doesn't mm -hmm. make any sense. He died decades ago. Yes. Almost a century if memory serves. And yet, here I am. Daddy standing before is you. Is very smart. And Icarus is my oldest and dearest friend. Wait, what? I sent him to How over old? You. And now here you are. How old oh, uh how old is uh my bird. Hmm. Um. Marini sent me. Mirini, my mother, she sent me here to find you. Mirini, she sent you here because she knew this was your destiny. You're not a god. You're just, you're just a mortal. There's more at stake than any one mind can comprehend. Why was I sent here? What's my role in all of this? I want answers. There is knowledge in this place. Atlantis! Powerful knowledge. Atlantis! In the wrong hands, its secrets could bring about the downfall of humanity. We cannot allow others to discover this place. We no. must find a way to see it from the world Let me forever. in, please. I don't understand any of this. I'm a warrior, exactly. not a scholar. Yep, yep. We all have a purpose, Cassandra. Yours was to help me protect the secrets of Atlantis. You can't decide that. You, you can't, yeah. Why should I help you? You were never there for me. You endured what you had to in order to be okay. strong enough so for what's to come. Okay, so he's that kind I of asshole. I never asked for any of this. Our destiny's a burden we must shoulder. It is not something we choose. You're boring. What would you have me do? The answers I seek are behind these mechanisms. They are sealed, and the artifacts to open them are missing. So, I need to find the artifacts and return them to Atlantis. I've collected information that hints at where these artifacts may be located. Wait, what? However, they are incredibly powerful. <gasps> Pieces of Eden. They corrupt the minds of lesser people and possess a will to defend themselves. I'll bring them back. But I still have questions for You're you. You're dressed very and I have answers. ostentatiously. For now, though, take this. It's part of a key to access an artifact that is hidden in Theodia. I have an ally trying to find the second half as we speak. He's dressed very ostentatiously for a dead man. Also, you can't just tell me what to do. Like, legit. Like... He's like, your destiny. I'm like, you had so you had kids just so you could force them into helping you. Is that what it was? I'm unimpressed, my dude. Unimpressed. But now we have a wonky loading screen, which is cool. It's different. Let me into Atlantis. Oh, crap. This is why. Vera. We found Atlantis! Atlantis? Let me check your vitals. You're delirious. We've been searching for an Isu artifact with reality bending power. <laughs> this bothers you? <laughs> Pythagoras was born around 570 BCE. That would make the man in that cave nearly 150 years old. What could possibly be keeping How did she alive? know all that if I didn't the tell her? The staff of Hermes Trismegistus. Oh. Mrs. San, you were right. I'll help you pack up the gear. Thanks. Let's roll out. Wait, what? That she just accepted that very quickly. That was very rushed. She's like, Atlantis, you must be delirious. But then she said things that she could only have known as she was like watching a video inside my head. So we saw Atlantis. It was right there. It was right there. And it's but the DLC. Also, my dad's like, we have to find these artifacts to unseal whatever's back there so that we can seal Atlantis away. It's like, wait, what? Shit, what? Just break the artifacts. 
I don't think you can actually destroy pieces of Eden technically. I'm not sure how you do that, actually. I don't usually get to the end of Assassin's Creed games, and it even usually when I have, they just put them in a box to put away, <laughs> you know, like, oh, nobody will ever find this again, haha, -ha, we'll put it in a box at the foot of my bed. It'll be fine. Yeah, okay. I've reached the coordinates. Whoa. The series of caves we detected should Whoa. be right under me. Uh... My equipment's ready. Preparing to dive. Layla, you have no idea what's down there. Yeah, sure. There could be sharks. Shh, shh, shh. I prefer Sorry. that to Templars. We'll keep an eye out for Obstava. Good luck, Layla. Thanks. I'm heading down now. There has to be a way in. I'll find it. This was easy. There. Yep. That must be the way in. Easy way in. The sharks are gonna cut the water's all murky. It's gonna freak me the F out. The sharks are gonna pop up and I'm gonna be like Bleh. good thing I don't have to oh that's right I was like I don't have to breathe but I, I don't because I do but I wait are you all still reading me it's awfully quiet on comms we hear you Layla thanks it's just so silent down here you're not alone Layla we're monitoring your progress you're doing fine yeah we're here if you need us thank you guys Send us sitting at the desk well I don't have to be in a boat to be useful I have loads of information on ancient Greece. Did you know that at Zakros, the Minoans built a graveyard so huge it was known as the Ravine of the Dead? Can we please not talk about death? Elena, promise me that if I die down here, you'll rename this place the Caves of the Dead. I'm on. Caves of the Dead. What is that? Are these like therm- There should be thermal vents this close to the surface? Oh no, it's volcanic activity. Okay, that makes sense. So it's a volcanic thermal vent. So I was like, there's no way we could survive at that pressure with just scuba gear. Also, we didn't go nearly deep enough. Are we gonna actually go to like, well, I, mean, I was not expecting to go to Atlantis in the real world. Like, I was looking forward to it in a DLC form with Cassandra, but apparently I'm doing this all snap. That was really easy to access. Uh, I feel like it should have been a little more complicated. Oh, so more of it's underwater than before. I'm gonna miss the London loft. I really like the view. Miss it? Why can't you go back? Didn't you read Kyoshi's report? Abstergo's already swept through it. It's compromised. No, I've been busy researching Theta. Kyoshi, are you alright? Of course. After clearing out the last of our gear, I observed the infiltration from a distance. Did they pick up the present I left? Yes, they found the USB key you dropped under the desk. Nice tactic. No one at Abstergo will be stupid enough to stick that in a computer. They don't have to. It's a shell holding one of my special RFID transmitters. I can't Get see. Get it anywhere near workstation, like, say, in the head of security's office, and boom. Impressive. Boom. All in a day's hack. We're a hacker. We're a hacker. Oh, shoot. Here we are. Okay, so Cassandra came up through that way. Why has everything got to be so geometric? Wow! It's more elaborate than I could have imagined! We already saw it, but it's different to see it yourself in person, I would say. How did they build all this? What I want to pay for an Isu toolbox. <laughs> a toolbox. I think Isu are the ones that came before, if I remember Origins correctly. Okay, so apparently we didn't seal it back in time. But it hasn't been destroyed. This is different from Egypt. Some aesthetic elements in common, but yeah, this mm -hmm. this particular shape is new. Some of it is very familiar, but it is also different in its own way, which is cool. If I find that staff, I'm gonna just like scream. I should get out of this diving suit before I start exploring. Why? What if you have to make a quick escape? What if you have to go back there? What if this? What if the chamber floods? Why'd you say that out loud? I knew they said it out loud it's real. to I made it. explain why she changed clothing. They let to Altair 2? Altair 2? Do you have visuals? Yes. By the gods, Layla, it's Atlantis. How are you feeling? Any nausea from the pressure change? No, I'm fine. These rooms are amazing. Ooh, there's an all-seeing eye. Ooh. The rock keeps changing. Think, Layla, think. 
There must be a way. Something has to power up this place. Oh yeah, there's just a, just random piece of Eden laying around. It's I'm re-entering the Animus. I need Cassandra to show me how she got farther inside. We're doing it VR style, boys and girls. Well, why did you, why did she <laughs> why did she like come all the way here? To a potentially dangerous place, like with, with animals, like crabs, maybe and stuff. Maybe Abstergo. And she's just gonna be out of reach of any help. Like, she couldn't just stay in the Animus for, like, I don't know, a minute more and to see what Cassandra did or something. Like, in the comfort of the hideout. That seems a little silly. So, that seems like it's gonna build up something where it's like she gets in trouble, you know? Uh, excuse me, Daddy O. Get your, get your, get your bum back here. I know there's not much time, but I need answers. I imagine you have many questions. I kind of want to kick you. I have questions about my family. The sentimental and the emotional uh -huh. connections. Uh-huh. I knew it. I knew he was that kind of guy. People have always irked me. I knew Mirini would fail to stay detached. What do you mean? Why did you come here and leave my mother and me in Sparta? I was never going to erase you. Our duty was to continue our ancient bloodline and ensure there was someone strong enough to do what was necessary when the time came. You could have brought us here with you. And you would have been unprepared. So he wanted us to suffer, essentially. If you've been here all these years, how did you meet my mother? We're both descendants of the people who built this place just like you. We knew that we had an obligation to preserve our No, you But that's when you agreed to make me. In a manner of speaking, yes. Oh, she had to have sex with a really old guy. Oh, like, and a guy who was, like, very detached and, like, logic is the key and her and her and her and, like, no, shut the frick up. Like, emotions and, and, like, connections between people are what make us human. Like, they make us people. I mean, even... Like, you could say, like, I don't know, even aliens have to have something like that. If they don't, they're gonna just, like, eventually just fall apart. I mean, like, existence will be meaningless, like, without somebody else. Like, I mean, you, you can be, like, self-sustaining, but, like, having other people around. Like, humans are very social creatures. And freaking Marie, she could continue the bloodline. What do you, did, are you, so we're only pure bloods, but we're not, because we're descendants. And obviously the line's probably, like, faded somewhere. Like, if you two kept, if you had kids with, like, other people, it would have been fine. But no, we have to have, he like, ugh, oh, he like forced her. Ugh. Oh. Why is the cult hunting our family? It is our family's destiny to control Don't the say family. This place. Don't say family. In our blood lies the key to unlocking the secrets of Atlantis. I don't like you. So they want our blood? You have a destiny, my child, to destroy the cult and their influence on the Greek world. You threaten everything they have striven for because you have the power to oppose them. They've tried to destroy me and failed. And they'll never control me. That's all I wanted to know. I want to know more about Atlantis and your work. There isn't enough time for me to explain even a fraction of what I he just sits here staring at his computer all screen I can all day. For now is a hint of enlightenment. I don't want enlightenment if it turns me into a jack eh? You call it Atlantis. But what exactly is this place? I believe it was a city long ago. A place where beings of great knowledge and power lived before humankind had built even its first primitive settlements. Well, yeah, I think it they like made us. some kind of library where the ancient ones stored information. Oh, this place is like a tomb. How did you live down here, and for so long? This artifact, like your spear, possesses incredible power. It has given me life, so that I may continue to learn from this place. So if I took it from you, would you shrivel away? What have you been studying here? Everything. The first civilization's history, their culture, their science. With it, we can change humanity's destiny and usher in an age of enlightenment. That sounds very templary. Destiny is something only the gods can alter. They were gods, living, breathing gods. That's, he sounds very templary, you know? I've heard enough. What do I do with the artifacts? 
Just place them in their corresponding steelies, and the path to answers will illuminate. His eyes are dead. I don't trust him. I should go. Yes, there is much to do. Bring back the artifacts quickly. The longer we wait, the greater the risk of Atlantis being discovered. I don't know if the Templars exist per se, or if the cult is like the predecessor to the Templars, but it kind of sounds like... Why are you walking like that? Sounds like he might be the predecessor to the Templars, like sort of a forced enlightenment for everybody, like forcing one viewpoint on everybody. Sounds very Templary. Oh man, is there... There's like multiple places. Oh, those are the Steelies, I think, back there. Unless it's these. I thought it was these. Fear not. Above the cloud with its shadow is the star with its light. Okay, thanks, Dad. Is that what this is? Anyway, um, so he's not a god, but he's a semi-immortal human and who cheated in Pythagorean's theorem came from uh, the first civilization, so he's not actually a genius, but he is, I guess, kind of, because he's smart from studying, but he probably stole the formula. I think that's like a spear tip on his staff, too. It glows. I just really don't trust him. Like... It's one of those things where it's like if somebody lacks empathy, it's a lot harder to trust them because human psychology is built upon like trust and empathy essentially. Like, like our social interactions are built upon like gaining trust and em like empathizing stronger. Like when you trust somebody, you empathize more with them, you know. And so he's just this like empty shell of a man who's like knowledge fills the void in my soul. I'm like, you sound. You sound like a jerk. You sound very one-dimensional. Everybody, everybody likes to be a jerk. But then we've got good people. Like Marini and Cassandra. We gotta save our brother somehow, though. He's coming here, too, and his blood will unlock the place, right? Or is he... Yeah. Wait, so I thought it was odd because he specifically said that... Um... That they had me. Like, I specifically said, you guys had me. And he's like, your destiny, blah, 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 blah. But was my brother a result of a reunion from you two? Or just... Maybe because he's Marini's child. For sure. Obviously. So maybe he's only half? Half, you know, god descendant or whatever. Oh, whatever blood, first civilization bloodline or whatever. Having stuff locked into blood seems kind of silly to me. Let's let's be honest. It seems very elitist. <laughs> I'm not surprised from a culture called first civilization. Oh man. Okay, that's my alarm to go and pick up my laundry and hope nobody's stolen it out of a dryer. Anyway, this is really really cool. I I oh, I I didn't I didn't like I don't know. Can I get into Atlantis in the base game? Like, I would assume so, at this point, that, like, I could unlock it and get in there. But is there, like, more to it in the DLC? Because I'm pretty sure the DLC is Atlantis. I could be wrong. And it's okay. I'll figure it out. I'm at least playing the... Whatever, if it, if it is an Atlantis DLC, I'm playing that. I don't care how long it takes. I'm playing that one for sure. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I should be home in a few days, and we'll have less ASMR videos. <laughs> but... I do appreciate you all watching. If I don't see some like Leopleurodons in there and like ancient dinosaurs, I'm gonna be mad. Uh, thank you all so much, and I'll see you in the next one.